Now take a look at this thing. When you're playing music, with drums is really the the beat. And a lot of rock and roll or a lot of music is four four beats, right? Now I don't I've forgotten my music symbols. I've forgotten I've forgotten everything. So I'm gonna use symbols that musicians, uh, music people are gonna go, what the what is this guy talking about? But I'm just layering on math, right? Grizzly, I used to be a pretty good trumpet player. Now I um I probably can't even blow <laughs> nice boom town rats boom town rats check this out so we have oh my god i'm gonna draw music what do you call these things so this is the way i learned how to play drums believe it or not this is the way i learned how to play drums right this is the way i learned how to play drums remember i had zero i was a very good drum player by the way not like i first song i learned how to play it was youtube sunday bloody sunday next song i learned how to play was ah nice thanks edgy was um, um the police wrapped around my fingers okay i learned the van halen song i learned some other songs and then i realized uh, i tried to play rush um, um tom sawyer and i couldn't do the drum solo and i realized i wasn't technically i no matter how much i practice i couldn't i couldn't do it right so and it wasn't by listening or anything i had to read the notes to do it and memorize the notes staff is that what it's called i don't know what it's called so check this out we're gonna put two chords here and what's that symbol here's the music symbol is is, is this what we do how does this go here here like this is, is that what where we're doing it i don't know and the way i learned was this this would be the bass drum right this would be the hi-hat uh, let's put the hi-hat here this would be like a symbol symbol this would be like snare okay and then you'd have a like a tom tom here or something like this right tom tom one tom two or something like this right so if you're playing a four four beat right that means you got boo, boo, boo. that's one is it a chord it's not a chord it's one section right so for a base a 4-4 four, four beat i don't know if it's 4-4 four, four or whatnot but basically let's assume that's one set that you're gonna do right you would go bass boom sharp boom boom okay and then you would do snare I'm not even doing this right. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Hold on a second. Let me do this with my lines. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do this properly. Let me do this properly. So you start off with the bass, the poof, hitting the bass is the foot, right? And then in the middle, so you go poof, ba, poof, ba, poof. and then you hit the snare in the off beats, right? And then the hi-hat is usually going four. One, two, three, four. So you're going choo, 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 choo. So, boo, choo, boo. That, that's going pretty fast. That's like a punk beat. Choo, 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 right? <laughs> I'm doing a horrendous job explaining this, by the way. And then you would have like a symbol and with the other hand, you go bam, smash a cymbal or something like this. Let's do it. You could do it on the on the offs as well. I don't know. I don't even know if this works like this, right? So this is the way they break it up. Four four. Like really, I I, I gotta get my notes. I'll show you guys my notes one day, right? My cymbals one day. And you can put toms here. You could do double toms. Boom boom, right? Uh, undo this one. Boom boom, right? Like if you look at Neil Peart stuff, it's just a it's just filled with stuff right and then the same thing would repeat here you're doing the same thing boom 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 and this is this would be a four count right break up the drum set break out the drum set <laughs> nice tadpoles thanks <laughs> Fun says so this would be like on was it zero four eight whatever right now there are other beats that people do and neil pert was some of the some of the songs that he played he'd go from four beats so some, some songs it's not even four beat it's seven eight beats right so the 
the rhythm doesn't end on the four or doesn't start on a four on natural count it's an offbeat right so he would take this so this is up to an eight so he would take it right here's the eight and tool does this tool does this right here's the four right here's the eight here's the zero but with some music you don't do the repetition here again you do it on the seven the seven count so from here to here is what the beats going and it's not natural like when you're dancing you're doing this and then all of a sudden you have to do dan, dan, and then do, do. like do a pop up pop, pop. but it's not even that it's it's just an off beat and then how many of these do you need to get back to a regular beat right and then you can take a seven seven beat i'm going to make it smaller here right so you would take a seven seven eighths and then you would take oh my god you would take uh three fourths right so you do seven eight three four seven eight three four seven eight three four what a trippy song that would be right uh, dream theater does it too dream theater is amazing oh my god no name boy dream theater is beautiful music if you guys have never listened to dream theater you listen to dream theater i seem to recall this e g b d f on the lines going up is that what it is yeah i you know what i got my notes drum notes somewhere uh one of these days we'll do an asmr video and we'll do the top view with the uh the way we do the comic book readings and i'll show you <laughs> right maybe <laughs> right so this is the way math plays in it and when the musicians are getting together to create this music right now just imagine this is one section one little part right and a song may have multiple pages of these right and they have to break it down so it's not chaos but there is at some point where everything goes right there is it's an epic moment music builds up the lyricist is going crazy and all of a sudden it just goes everything hits on the same moment right boom and then you can go back into the rhythm and the chaos again and then boom now you must have grizzly thank you very much for the twitch prize so you must have listen to music or been to shows where all of a sudden everybody at the same time goes wham right that's what's going on that's the mathematics of it that's hitting okay that's the rhythm that's hitting there is you know taking this to sort of literature book one of the most fantastic science fiction books that i read was by c.s lewis um, it's a trilogy one of them is called the hideous strength and then um, Pal palindra or something like this it's, it's a three book trilogy right and in one of the books I'm gonna give you a little bit of spoiler but that's okay in one of the books uh, the main protagonist travels to another planet right and he encounters aliens and the aliens are listening to music right he understands that they're listening to music because of their behavior but in the book as he's explaining this music he explains that he couldn't understand the music there's no it, it didn't relate to him as music because the heartbeat because our heartbeat follows this right right it's it's a constant beat every now and then there's a rhythmic offbeat right but our heartbeat is rhythmic right that's why the seven eight and three fours and stuff like this is hard to comprehend right but in this book he's c.s lewis is explaining that protagonist is having a hard time relating to this music because he can't because their heartbeats beat differently than our heartbeats right that's the way he was explaining it and i read this many years ago like 30 years ago right i'm not doing it justice but it was really good rest in peace professor neil indeed intrepid indeed indeed in 